Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today I'm taking a first impressions look at Aliens Thanatos Encounter, a Game Boy Color game released in 2001, just a month before the GBA came out in North America and months after it had come out in Japan, so this is very much on the tail end of the Game Boy Color's lifespan. Somehow though, I don't think it's going to be making the most of the system. So this is like a, a top-down shooter, which, you know, not a great game to have on a Game Boy, but we'll see how it works. Um, I don't think there's anything special in options. Let's begin. We already have the intro. We have come to investigate the Thanatos, which is a cargo freighter. And, okay, we can select our marines, so I guess uh, some of these marines are going to die. Let's go with Shiro, because he looks like less of a serial killer. Age 19. Male. Speed? Very. Stamina? Not so much. Level 1. Docking Bay. This area is where you will set up your command post. Clear the docking bay of any unwanted guests before moving deeper into the ship. End transmission. Level Requirement. You will not be permitted to leave this area until all aliens are destroyed and all survivors rescued. Alright, yeah, so here we are. Doesn't look too bad, you know, decently large sprites. We got a HUD at the bottom with a motion tracker. And, oh, uh, did I just collect that guy? So let's see. We can switch between our firing modes. I'm not exactly sure how that works. What? Okay. Yeah, so if I... If I'm holding one of these buttons, you can see that it locks me into strafe mode. So... I guess we'll have to keep that in mind to avoid xenomorphs. So we just have to go around collecting these guys. I guess just following blips on my... motion tracker and hoping it's not a xenomorph. We also have to kill all the Xenomorphs, so I guess we need to find those, too. I mean, like, I like having the bigger sprites, but it does mean that, again, we have to kind of stutter step whenever there's a Xenomorph near the edge of the screen. Nope. And there's a health pack there. Do we have a menu? We have an inventory. Okay, so... We have only two slots in our backpack left. I guess that means we can't carry a lot of weapons. But hopefully we'll find something better than a pistol. Since that's all they sent us in with. Also, I'm guessing if I unequip the motion tracker from the left hand, then I will not have the motion tracker at the bottom anymore. That guy. So yeah, I guess a lot of this is just going to be trying to figure out how to navigate these areas from above. Like, oh, I see something over there, but I can't get to it. Some more ammo. We only have 30 bullets, by the way. So we don't even have much in the pistol. Hoping these are the weak xenomorphs that can also be killed with a pistol. Oh, well, there's one of them there. I think that's a regular xenomorph? Kind of hard to tell from above. I mean, he's got the dome head, so... Okay, so hold B. This gets me into strafe mode. The frame rate in this is not going to be great. I can already tell. Which is why you wouldn't really make a top-down shooter like this on a Game Boy. <laughs> like, I'd even say this is probably more doable on GBA, but I feel like the Game Boy is not quite there for what you'd need for this. Okay, we just picked up, I think, a bunch of ammo. Also kind of wish there was just an inventory button and not a... Oh, we picked up another handgun? We still have two free slots, though, so... Maybe this inventory just slowly expands as you pick stuff up. But yeah, I wish we didn't have to open the menu and then open the inventory. It's a little clunky. Yeah, not sure I'm a fan of this hold strafe button. Also, my B button is a little, uh, a little loose, so I have to press it really hard, otherwise sometimes it forgets that I'm holding it. Which, uh, again, this controller needs to be replaced. 
I kind of don't want to replace it, but at the same time, I do use it a lot. Not just for playing, like, emulator games, but also for stuff like Monster Hunter, Nier, you know. Games where a controller generally feels better. But yeah, so that means that I have to really aggressively hold this B button if I want to strafe. Alright, thankfully these xenomorphs are not that clever. They get stuck on the walls. Getting stuck on the walls, man! They're getting stuck on the goddamn walls! <laughs> oh, face hugger. Kinda boxy looking. Grab that guy. Grab that guy. I don't know if they can die. Oh, there's so many people here. <laughs> this is where they're all hanging out. Oh, God. Uh, uh. I'm pressing lots of buttons. Uh, it disappeared. That's kind of ominous. Do I have a health meter? I realize that we have health packs, but I don't see anywhere where it counts my health. So I'm wondering if he's just going to chest burst now. That looks like his sprite's getting larger. I mean, I haven't actually gotten hit aside from that face hugger. So I can't tell if there's just gonna be a health that pops up. This is what the strafe is for. <laughs> Seems like the bumpers aren't used at all. Which, then again, I'm remembering the Game Boy and Game Boy Color did not have bumpers. That was not until the Game Boy Advance. I was thinking of the SNES games we've been playing, which did have bumpers. Oh! Uh, did that guy have a chest burster that didn't kill him? Just kind of popped out. He's like, well, shit. I think I have to kill this, though. Oh, it's so fucking squirrely. The hitboxes are kind of precise, too. Like, you can't just kind of clip them. You really have to actually hit him dead on. Oh. This is one of the rare cases where the kind of, like, stuttery low frame rate is actually kind of bugging my eyes. Normally it doesn't bother me, but here I'm like, ugh, this kind of hurts to look at. So yeah, I guess we just picked up another handgun, and do you think we can dual wield? I just thought of that now. Press B button to equip left hand. It looks like we can equip them. But yeah, we lose our motion tracker. Yeah, I can dual wield. If I need to. Not very practical. Also, this means that I can't hold the motion tracker button to lock my aim. So, I'm gonna be shooting if I hold down the button to strafe. Yeah, I need the motion tracker. I don't know where anybody is. I mean, at least they give you the option, though. Because, like, why else would you pick up a second pistol? Alright, motion tracker is reading blank down here. I think we cleared out this area. This is where everybody was. Another health kit there. Okay, I'm getting one blip. Where the hell am I? It's getting stuck on walls I can't see. So I need to find a way to go up and around. here, and then go down. Okay, there's another guy. Let me guess this is a xenomorph. Nope. I was wrong. Oh, but it was a chest burster, so pretty much I was right. Okay, so I think my health is just on both sides of the motion tracker. Like, both of those bars are equally my health. Okay, another blip down here, it's another Xenomorph. I mean, I'm glad that this is not the eye-blindingly green of the Game Boy games interpreted by the Game Boy Color, but it still doesn't have a great use of color. Oh, fuck. 
I mean, getting face tugged didn't seem to have a negative impact on us before. You have approximately 200 seconds to save the Marine. Okay, so he's not perma dead yet. I hope this doesn't reset the entire level. Okay, so now we have to pick somebody else. He's just kind of average at both. Oh, he's a different color, though. And it looks like the level reset. Oh, I didn't notice, but we actually have this big-ass dropship strike here, too. But why do we have a dropship in here? If we just docked. Not like we aggressively boarded the ship. Other than that, this ship just has some Cheyennes of its own. Alright, so if we want to rescue that Marine, I think we just need to go this way. I also don't think these people can die, aside from the ones that are already chest bursted. So, I don't have to, like, hurry and rescue them all. Okay, we went down here, I think. Yep, this is a chest burster guy. Still a chest burster guy, so that's consistent. Come on, you little shit. You little wiggle weasel. Oh, these are so nightmarish to try to hit with this control scheme. <laughs> They're just too small. There we go, got him. Okay, we died here? Okay. We've spawned, like, this separate rescue mission. I mean, this being a corridor should make it easy to hit them. We've got 97 seconds, 96 seconds. Oh, he's gonna die. Music here is actually pretty good. For, like, a you gotta hurry up. Hey, I'm here to rescue you. Marine rescue. Do you wish to regroup with base? No. We'll just continue. I'm worried that would also have reset the mission if I said yes. So that's an interesting mechanic. I mean, Aliens Infestation also would end up having a similar, like, you know, set of Marines that could die. Honestly, that game is fairly similar to this, you know, ship being explored by a group of Marines who don't really know what happened, there's Xenomorphs on board, etc, etc, but then, I guess that story has been kind of used a lot for any Aliens property. It's just... There's a distress speaker, and, and Marines have responded to it. That seems to be the majority of their job. I'm not sure what this is that we keep picking up. It kind of looks like explosives. Ooh, that's a better gun. Fucking it, it, it. So I think the facehugger just drains your health. So we'll use one of these health packs, and we picked up a shotgun. Let's see how that works. I'm going to guess it's just a spray of pellets. Instead of just one pellet. Come here, Xenomorph. Or it's just a weird little bubble that comes out, but I guess it does more damage. That's probably the exit right there. I would like to finish at least this first level before we wrap up this, because I don't think this game gets much more complex than just wandering around shooting stuff. I don't know if we're going to be unwelding doors or anything like that, but that's why I want to see. I mean, really, I didn't need to die last time. I could have healed. Caution? Wait, does that say caution? Yeah, I think it does. It's just the U, T, and I are all, like, merged together. Airlock. Hazard of death. Turning my head sideways to read that. So I'm pretty sure those are shotgun shells, then, we've been picking up? Those spinning red things? Um, you gonna come with me? There we go. 
There's a, a lot of dots down here. I think this is the bay that was full of guys. Alright. Don't want to be wasteful with my shotgun ammo. Yeah, see, the Xenomorph just kind of strolls through them. Ah, that's one shot missed. It's two shot missed. Fucking hell. I need you to just come straight at me, okay? Oh, I can't even do it when he's coming straight at me. Got him. One shot kill, though. So that's at least makes up for the pain in the ass to aim it. Okay, I clipped him there. I mean, it is a bigger projectile, so I guess it is more likely to hit their hitbox a little bit. Also, I just noticed that my ammo count doesn't seem to be going down per shot. You see that? It's 49, no matter how many times I fire it, so... Don't know what's up with that. But I'll take it. Ah, fuck. Uh, uh. Quickly, heal before it drains me. Like a Metroid. Okay, and that was my last heal. I only had two of those. Didn't we pick up a bunch, though? Maybe I have more if I scroll down. Alright, so this area seems to be clear. Let's start heading back up. God, every encounter with the Xenomorphs really is kind of stressful, though, because they're so hard to hit. So that's at least kind of true to the franchise. I really do hope that Aliens Fire Team is going to end up being, like, not massive numbers of Xenomorphs, just that they are tough to deal with. Instead of being a horde shooter where, hey, here comes a hundred Xenomorphs because you set off the car alarm. Because we already have that. It's the mod that replaces the zombies in Left 4 Dead 2 with Xenomorphs. Or Raptors, or whatever. <laughs> there are options, but Xenomorphs are one of those options. Yeah, so, my ammo count for the shotgun went down by one, finally. I don't know how many shots it counts as one. Alright, that's the last one. All level objectives have been completed. Proceed to level exit. Yeah, great. I say that like I know where it is. I think I know where it is, but I, I'm not 100% sure. Those are airlocks. Also, I should heal again. Okay, I do have more health if I scroll down. Where was that door that looked like an exit? I think it was at the bottom left. Be nice if it gave me a, like a vague direction of where the exit is. Is it here? Like this looks like it could lead into the ship too. But it couldn't have been like, oh, get back to the drop ship or find a way inside the ship. was down here, though, that I saw that thing that looked like it could be an exit door. This thing right here. But apparently it's not. So. There goes my theory. I imagine it'll at least be open. And, like, inviting. And will not be in the center of the room, because that wouldn't make any sense. Unless it was an elevator. Also, this is made worse by the fact that we already killed all the enemies here, so it's not even like there's any danger. We're literally just trying to figure out where it wants me to leave from. He couldn't have just put, like, a, like a little arrow on my motion tracker saying, Hey, the exit's this way. Did I find it? Apparently I did. 
Level 2, Docking Bay. You are in the Docking Bay corridors in order to make a safe place for the survivors. Clear out this area and then exit to the north. See, that time it told me how to exit. Level Requirement. You will not be permitted to leave this area until all aliens are destroyed and all survivors rescued. That sounds just like the first mission. How many of these missions do you want to bet are just exactly like that? Rescue all survivors, kill all xenomorphs, repeat. I mean, at least it looks a little different. We got these flickering lights now that have no effect on the actual lighting. Hmm. That guy had jaundice, so I was thinking he was going to be a chest burster. I think they all have jaundice. Just one of the prices to pay for working in space. Well, I don't think we have to go too much further in this if it's just going to be more of the same, but... I wasn't really expecting much from this game, honestly. I've heard very little talk about it in any fashion. So I just kind of assumed it's not very good. Honestly, I'd say that the... Despite looking worse, the Alien 3... Game Boy game was probably better than this in terms of what you're actually doing. That just seemed like more of a proper game than just a shooting gallery. Like, I get what they tried to go for here. This is more like the kind of top-down shooters you'd find on a console than on a handheld. Because this is... Oh, there's a blue face hugger. Probably does more damage. Oh, there's so many of them now. I can't even shoot when I'm face hugged. I guess that's probably their actual danger in this. Wait, it turned into a regular face hugger. <laughs> Is that what the blue ones do? They get two cycles of hits? The only time this game is smooth is when you're not moving. But other things are moving. I hate the aiming controls in this, though. Like, trying to do this with a D-pad? And I only have the D-pad bound, so I can't even try using the stick. Not that I feel like it would be much more manageable here. It doesn't help that they're, like, not reliably aggressive. Like, the times I expect them to come at me, they don't. They just run into a wall. The perfect organism. I admire its purity and its stupidity. Oh, oh, oh. We're running a little bit of a foot race there for a second. God damn it. My button is making this harder, too. Like, I can't stay locked in a direction for more than a couple seconds before it loosens off. I don't know how that button got loose. It is loose, though. Like, you can feel it when you press it that it doesn't, it doesn't really crunch the way a button should, like the other ones do. It doesn't feel like I'm pressing it down all the way, even when I give it a good hard shove. Oh my god. <laughs> can't hit this guy. Just run at me, you stupid fucking bug. They're too smart. They know that it's hard to aim. And they keep dodging my shots, and I don't think they're doing that on purpose, but... They might as well be doing it on purpose for how effective it is. Oh, this is probably gonna make someone fucking sick. It's making me kinda sick, just this, like, how stuttery it feels. I would have hated to end up with this on the Game Boy. Oh my god. Just make their hitboxes bigger if you're gonna make a game like this. Oh good, he's venting. Oh, I can do that too. Here's another shotgun. Hope nobody sees us coming out of here or they're gonna think we're pretty sus. How did that become part of the internet lexicon? Because, like, <laughs> just a thing I've been thinking about, because I hear that people say that recently. Like, Among Us did not really reach the levels of popularity of, like, Fortnite, for example. But you don't really hear a lot of people making Fortnite references. Like, there, I guess there isn't really a, a terminology that came out of Fortnite in the same way of, like, 
some of the Among Us shorthand. So, I guess it's just, there's more kind of a, a lexicon there to spread than there was for something more popular like Fortnite or PUBG for the very short time that it was actually relevant. And like, Among Us isn't even really that relevant anymore. It's, it's still popular. You know, it did just get a new map or whatever, but... It is not the mega impact that it was at its first kind of peak. So thankfully, Fortnite is also not at that point. How did we go from aliens to fucking Fortnite? Talking about sus and venting, I guess. Anyway, that's a, a look at Aliens Thanatos Encounter. It's not very good. I am pretty thoroughly disappointed about this, but then again, I thought I would be just by seeing that it was a top-down shooter on the Game Boy Color. I knew it was going to be awkward to control. So thank you for joining me for another Aliens April First Impressions, probably one of the final ones of the month, but there are still a few things, like I said, I want to check out. We got some Aliens Pinball, we got a arcade game that I'm probably going to do a full playthrough of in the last few days, and we have a very special, very disappointing Aliens game that I'm going to cap off the month with. I mean, there's still going to be some runoff for the LPs, because I don't think I'm going to finish releasing those by the end of the month, but I think that'll be a good first impressions to end the month off on. So, until then, thank you for joining me, and I hope I'll see you for some more, just a little bit more, Aliens April. But until then, you all take care. <laughs>